Hi, I'm Bob Liadis. I'm President and CEO of the ANA, the Association of National Advertisers. At CEO, I get to connect with the marketer community. These are the clients. These are the people that are paying the money to get their stuff either on air or in people's hands, figuring out the best way that marketers can connect with consumers. But we also have an industry role. We're also out there to advance, protect, and defend marketers' rights in the environment because there's so much going on in the marketing community that we've got to play a role to represent the interests of the entire marketing community. So there's this dual role of preaching and performing to marketing excellence and finding a way to help the industry all at the same time. I'm going to give you an unconventional answer. I don't know if there's going to be a trend. And the reason is, is that we're seeing, I think, the democratization and the socialization of marketing. Meaning to say is that everything is on the table. There is so much creativity and innovation going on that it's almost impossible to be able to figure out what is going to be that hot button. Because marketing and media have evolved, predicated on a technological foundation, it's giving marketers greater capability and flexibility to convert mass marketing to marketing on a one-to-one -one basis. So it's become very, very personal. It allows for extraordinary creativity to be able to develop those relationships in the B2C world with the consumer and the B2B world with the customer. And so I think what it allows us to do is to truly be creative, truly be innovative in a way that we probably will not expect and will look very, very different in terms of the, what, we call, what we think is, is a standard marketing approach today. I think in terms of marketing advancements, um, I'm most excited by the fact that marketers are taking control of their messages. Well, what do I mean by that? In the old days, whatever those days were, marketers often left a lot of that responsibility to agencies, to media companies, to others, to kind of give them the essence of their brand message. Marketers are becoming increasingly in control of what their messages should be, how they're delivered, the accountability and the metrics that go along with it. And so we're becoming 360 degrees and three-dimensional at the same time. And that's a fascinating, fun place to be because they, we're not outsourcing it anymore. We own it. We're responsible. You put us in charge. We need to talk to our respective consumers and we're going to answer to our superiors, to our shareholders to ensure that we're doing the right thing. In terms of the things that I'm concerned about, there are a couple of things. First, I'm very worried about what I'm going to broadly call the digital media supply chain. It's totally complete with fraud, piracy issues, issues where marketers are literally getting their investments robbed from them. And we have to find a way to stop that. Secondly, I'm concerned about measurement issues. Measurement is something that we have to become increasingly savvy about because as marketing investments span across a broad array of media, how we bundle all of that information together to determine how well we perform versus expectations is fundamental and the measurement arena has not kept up with the pace of expectations to be able to report on that and make future decisions. Third is mobile and marketers have to learn how to be able to build their brands through a mobile platform. We see a lot of creativity and innovation that's going on there but not something that we're sure enough about how we're appropriately building our brand through mobile. It's not necessarily the most consumer friendly device or media to be able to build brands and we're still relying upon other forms, more traditional forms to be able to do that. But I think if we get that one fixed that do lots of doors will open in our relationship with consumers and, and customers. Well, in terms of challenges, I think I've gotten at a little of them. In, in terms of uh, the issues with respect to the digital supply chain and the measurement arena. Um, and it also goes back to that accountability mechanism that we're responsible for ensuring that what we're doing in terms of planning is correct. 
And that'll, that goes at kind of the other side of the analytics question in terms of marketing mix modeling and ensuring that we have the full portfolio in front of us to ensure that we understand uh, the quality and, and return on investments of our marketing. We could talk all day about challenges, honestly. It's, it you know, would fill a book, to say the least, but those, those are the ones that are uppermost in my mind.